Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were wrapping up some final little oddities. Now, we need to go to North Ocean because there is one last thing I forgot to do before we head off to Esperanza or whatever it's called. Now, we can traverse all of these gates pretty much now, which is going to help our cause quite a little bit. Uh, we need to go to North Ocean, somewhere around the mid-section of it. Because our rather chubby friend has something for us. At least he should have something for us. Fingers crossed. If uh, we have met the criteria. Ah, there we go. Well, isn't this... Quaint and we went an awful long way there without getting a battle, which I am incredibly surprised about Okay Have a look at the new bistro yeah, looks, There are people here Not only does this place serve gourmet food, they'll serve you lots of it And I heard That the owner used to be an air pirate too. This place is great uh, Yeah, cool such a mellow fragrance and it's so blue that it's almost as if they melted a moonstone. Air pirates may think all loca is the same, but in my opinion, New World Lo loca is the best. Well, I'll take your word for it. Now, somewhere... There is a cham. Aha, I think it's over here. Yes, there we go. You received a cham. Excellent. I say we use that cham. Might as well. Smoke them if you got them. Right. People is still a spike. Okay. Yeah, look at this place. It's very fancy. Welcome to Gordo's Bistro. I am Philip, head waiter. I will help you pick a loca to match whatever you seek. Lately, a new loca has become extremely popular. It's called New World Loka and it is from Ixitaka. Hey, nice. Glad to see they have a trade. Or something to trade, I should say. Welcome to Gordo's Bistro. Would you like to try our famous full course dinner? It's a very good deal. 4,000 gold per person. Ah, uh, yeah. Sure. Very well. Four full course dinners coming right up. Now, here you are. Enjoy your meal. Yeah, we really just spent 16000 on that. Is everything fine? That's great. Please visit us at Guestland sometime. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what that actually does. Apart from spends a hell of a lot of our money. Well, wait, wait a minute. Are you Vase? You're a legend among sailors across the skies. You know me, right? I'm the traveling treasure hunter, uh, Domingo. I travel the world looking for new discoveries. It's quite a relaxing job, if you ask me. Yeah, this guy was our competition. Uh, will you join us? If it's okay with you, I'd like to join. Uh, I'd like you to join my crew. Let us work together and find all of the discoveries in the world. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. But the only people that I team up with are beautiful women or men who are better treasure hunters than myself. Well, if you can find at least 30 discoveries, I'll admit you're better. But I doubt that. Anyone who could actually do that. <laughs> I wouldn't talk so fast. We've already found more than 30 discoveries. Really? I, I don't believe it. You actually found more than 30 discoveries? Are you truly... Oh, you truly are a treasure hunter, Vase. Like I promised, I'll join you in your quest. And besides, you've got two very beautiful women with you. How can I resist? Yeah, hands off, pal. Anyway, we've got another lookout. I prefer our Ixie Tacken lookout, but um, obviously, you know, you do need to rotate the guard every now and again. Uh, can't have one man working himself to death up there. And apparently, there are pigs being farmed somewhere which is good I suppose and look all that cake and dessert lovely oh hey it's you Vase. don't you remember me it's me Goro the black pirate I had a change of heart and decided to open this restaurant here in North o uh, Ocean it's a nice place don't you think I've taken flavors from the four corners of the world and made a new style of cooking 
Good man, that man. Um, I'm pretty sure, though. You must eat until your belt bursts. Try my new sky starting skewers. Besides, you're much too skinny to be a captain. A man is not judged by his l looks, but by the girth of his belly. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll uh, take your word for it. Now, I'm sure, if I'm not mistaken, there is something else we can get from here. Uh... Nope. I think that's actually everything. We've got a new member of crew. We've had a really nice meal. And now we're done. Okay. Right, let's return. Shame we couldn't get this food for everybody, but uh, it'll have to do for now. So, that's uh, some of the competition removed. Anyway, now we just need to find uh, our next port of call. Esparza. And I'm not 100% sure where that is. I know it's somewhere over here. Might actually be able to talk to someone. Now, the, that over there is the Dark Rift. You can't actually pass through the Dark Rift. At least not as far as I know. Anywhere. This is the normal Sky Rift, the, the white one. Which we can go through. But the Dark Rift, that's a different beast entirely. Okay. So let's head back this way. Now we might have to go talk to someone. More fish. Hey, we've got some B quality fish. Quite a few B quality fish. Happy with that. Right, so Sailor's Island. That's Valua. Okay, let's head down here. Don't really want to get into a fight with that ship for no other reason than there's very little point. Ugh, really. Wipe them from the decks, boys and ladies, I guess, because technically half of your team is female. Which is actually quite progressive. Especially when one of your uh, female characters is more of a fighter. You know, they used to all be relegated to um, healing and that kind of stuff. Which is kind of boring, if you ask me, but there we go. See, that cannon mm -hmm. there, that one actually looks like it could gimbal and rotate. Also looks bigger than most ships, so we might want to stay away from that. I also wonder whether that cannon... Hey, throwing blade. If that cannon would actually tear that little island to pieces. So, Nasrad. Unless it's down here somewhere, perhaps. Right, bear with me, guys. I'm going to try and find this off camera, because this could potentially take a while. So, here we are, finally. You can see where we are on the map there. Uh, apparently, we come straight through here now, which I didn't realize. Uh, lots of fiddling and floating around. And we've finally discovered where we need to be next. Now, there are a couple more discoveries we can go and get if we want, but I think we do some um, do some stuff here, and then we'll go off and get some more. Okay. Well, that's not quite what I was expecting. Some more. Ooh. These things are kind of annoying. They're a little bit like those uh, loopers. They're very difficult to hit. At least the green ones were. These ones don't seem to be quite as bad. But you do apparently get a lot of money for killing them. So that's good. Considering, you know, we spent 16 grand at the bistro. Okay. Apparently it's only the green ones you get an awful lot of money for. And Cura Crystals too. So not too bad. Alright, so here we are. Esperanza. <coughs> now this place looks kind of derelict, doesn't it? I 
That Sky Rift looks worse than any of the others. If we tried to power our way through it, I think the Delphinus would get ripped to pieces. But if we don't go through there, we won't be able to reach uh, Yafutoma. Isn't that something we can do? Uh oh, Enrique's not having a good time again. <laughs> Enrique, are you feeling any better? Uh, he doesn't look like he's feeling much better. I'm not gonna lie. Just saying. No, to be completely honest, I feel awful. Why don't you guys take a look around the city? I don't think it'd be wise for me to move in my condition. I'll stay here and look after Enrique. All right, Ika, let's go check out the city. Someone here has to know how to get to Euphoma. <clears throat> yeah, let's have a little look. This place is really cool. Degenerate X value and soldier. Yeah, this place is full of like deserters and ex soldiers and all sorts. This city was built by Valua during the time when Valua was trying to extend its hand of influence into the rumored countries of the Far East. Everyone used to be full of hope here, but once people realized that it was impossible to get through the Dark Rift, that hope disappeared. Impossible, you say? Then one day, Valua decided to leave the city to rot. The sailors here lost their ships, their crews, and their dreams. So this is like some abandoned... Sad state of a town. And some nice foreboding music. I'll stay here and make sure Enrique is okay. I'll just give him a healing crystal. I'm sure he'll be fine. Look at this one. Ah, hello. Huh? What did you say? You're trying to go to the east? Not even the Valuans could get past that maelstrom. Don't talk crazy like that. Hmm, and they are the technological capital. Well, it looks like we're going to have to get lucky then. Hey, Stray hus Huskra. Okay, we've got another pooch. Let's drop a save, shall we? Now we've made it here. Uh, that should be fine. Almost 40 hours. I haven't played an RPG for this long for a very, very long time. Um, okay, let's have a look, shall we? This place looks like a fortress. So apparently, according to some trivia that I found out about this game, uh, this Esperanza is supposed to be a misspelling of a Spanish word meaning hope, which is quite interesting. It's befitting, yes. Nice bit of irony there. Okay. So everybody here is basically broken and uh, depressed because they've been abandoned with little hope. Hey, it's the newcomers. Let me guess. You came here hoping to get to the legendary lands to the east, right? My parents were the same way when I was just a little girl. My parents brought me here with plans of going to the lands to the east. Our ship sank and I've been here ever since. But what a waste. The rest of the world will never be able to see how pretty I've become. <laughs> uh, right. Huh? My parents? Uh, they went down with our ship. Killed by that maelstrom. Hey, don't worry about it. They were foolish for thinking they could get through the Dark Rift anyway. Yeah, so we should give up, right? That's your attitude? Okay. That's pretty harsh, to be fair. I don't think we can, like, recruit her or anything. I'd give up on trying to get through the Dark Rift if I were you. If you don't want to leave your loved ones behind, that is. Hmm. Yeah, well, unfortunately, we can learn where others have failed. So their loss is our gain. Oh. Oh. That sounds promising. Nope. That's the wrong way. Got a little bit overexcited there by hearing the distant chime of a cham. Or, you know, Cupel going mad. The Dark Rift is a giant sky rift. It's an evil maelstrom. 
I have heard that once you're inside the vortex, everything goes a little strange. There's no lights and compasses don't work. Basically, it's easy to lose track of where you came from. Hmm. Well, this guy's seen some action. Well, at least that's what some of the survivors said. I don't know if they're telling the truth or not, though. Well, I'd imagine so. I don't know why they make stuff up. But what do I know, I guess? Come on. Unless what we want is down there, which it may be. Let's go in here. Let's go check all the houses out. Ah. Yeah, it's been many years since someone outside of Nassar has stayed here. It's a hun it's 280 gold for one night. Do you want to stay? Sure. Well then, I'll prepare a room for you right away. Yeah, so it's Nassar, people from Nassar and Valua, basically, came here together to try and reach the other side. They failed. I hope you had a pleasant rest. I do not know where your travels take you, but may the red moon always watch over you. <laughs> and then he shoes us off. Cheers, pal. Now, is there anything that we can find? Oh, they look like rather depressing rooms. There's supposed to be four of us here. Oh, well, I mean, technically, the other two are at the docks, but there's only two beds. So, and that's if we rented both rooms. But hey, what do I know? Um, we could have a little look down here, I suppose. I'm guessing that's where Cupel is calling us to. Yep, sounds like it. Ah, there we go. Hey, we've got another champ. Excellent. Now, will people evolve? Got to be soon, surely. Nope. I think um, Cupel only has one more uh, evolution apart from his ultimate form. Something like that, anyway. There's a lot of stuff down here. Have a little look around. Okay. Ooh, this leads us to a chest. Received 2,248 gold. I always wondered why the... Amounts of gold were so random in this game. I mean, it kind of feels more realistic because it's, you know, it's a bit weird in certain other RPGs when you open chests and there's like exactly 1400 gold or 200 gold or 100 gold. You know, it's a bit, a bit strange. But hey, what do I know? Okay. I guess it's time to get out of here. We've got a charm, we've got some treasure. Let's keep exploring. Okay. Right. Hello, what's going on? All of our problems are from foolish people who try to follow their dreams but fail. Just keep your feet on the ground and you'll be alright. Because people thought of going to the far off lands to the east that they're stuck here, unable to go anywhere else. The fools. Yeah, well, just because you're an embittered old crone doesn't mean the rest of us have to be. Hmm. Ah. Hang on. Hang on. I'm sure it has a switch. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Oh, completely missed this place out because, of course, I did. Yeah, right, the dude. Having a bit of a bad time. Hey, we got value in uniform times three. I, mean, I guess. De another degenerate. Just looking at this fortified lighthouse. You can see how important this city was to Valuar. 
but now it's nothing more than a giant tower of metal, broken cannons and all. Well, I suppose people are the same. If you're not constantly brushing up your skills, you start to get rusty, just like this old tower. Yeah, I guess you're right, buddy. Well, we're the same as the scrap metal you see here. Nothing but useless rust. Damn you. Big piece of junk. Uh, that's a little bit unfortunate to hear. Alright, let's have a look at this armor that we've got. See if it's any good. Naval uniform. No, we don't want to look at the iron cutter. Uh, no, it's not actually as good. Which is curious. I wonder if it's better for any of them. Oh, that's actually... No. Really? Seems a bit odd that we get it now. I very much doubt Fina can equip it. But we'll try. Nope, she can't. Oh, what about Enrique? Nope, he can't wear it either. Oh well, that was kind of a waste of time. Let's see what's up here. Oh, this is fancy. Hmm. Tower of Broken Dreams, huh? Alright, let's go check it out. Got to be something worth seeing up here, surely. <laughs> Seems like a lot of equipment to just abandon and leave here, but then Valuer doesn't seem to have an issue with that kind of thing. If it's no longer valuable or worth holding on to, you abandon it. Quite a small little complex. It's a fortress, though. Were they expecting to be attacked? I'd love to go into first person mode here, but we can't. Right, anyway. If I was a moonfish, I would be over here, apparently. Oop. Another one. Moonfish was caught. Cool. Excellent. Is that everything that's here? Looks like it. And that cannon's kind of puny. By uh, Valula. Val I'm distracted looking at the cannon. See if we can see into it. Yeah, so it's uh, kind of a puny cannon by Valula's standards. Usually they have mighty large weapons of mass destruction. But then I suppose this was built a long time ago. Kind of reminds me of the Empire of Steel. That was a great shmup, actually. Basically what Valua is. The Empire of Steel. Oh, talking of the mighty empire, I'm going to drink some coffee. And uh, this is the last video I'm recording on my holiday. Well, the last video of this game anyway, which is really sad. Because I've been playing and chipping away at this every day. And I've been really enjoying it. But I'm going to have to put it up for a few days now. Well, for five days now. Until uh, I have my next few days off. Which is a shame. Because I have really, really enjoyed this game. I have always spoke to you. I cannot overstate how much I have enjoyed this game. And we're only just over halfway. Although things start quickening up in pace soon. So here we have some kind of inn. Got the dude. Do you know what Esparza really means? It means hope. Hopeful sailors from all over gathered here to try and get to the east. But now, this city is filled with nothing but despair. Oh, the irony. Indeed. Indeed, friend. Pitiful sailor. You're not from around here, are you? Actually, we just came into town and we were wondering if somebody here could help us. So you 
came to me. Well, that's just great. By the way, the name's Don. Now ask me your questions and be on your way. You know that sky rift to the east. How do you get through it? So, you're looking for a way across the dark rift, eh? <clears throat> Everybody turns around and looks. He pours himself another drink. <laughs> so, the world is still full of fools. Huh? What? Are you kids serious? You're trying to cross the dark rift. They don't stand a chance. Someone better tell their parents where they are. Kid, that's no ordinary sky rift. During the war, this cape was discovered and this city was built. This place is the edge of the world. If you try and go any farther east, You'll be killed. Hundreds of men, good men, have died trying. But there's always a few fools that don't heed the warnings. The Dark Rift usually claims them. Some of the best sailors from all over the world tried to cross the Dark Rift. They came from everywhere. Look at him knocking that stuff back. One by one, they tried to pass through the Dark Rift. All of them failed. The ships that enter the Dark Rift are either pushed away by the winds or they get sucked in, never to return. My crew and I lost our ship. We were lucky to survive. After a while, sailors stopped coming. All we do now is sit around here and wait to die. Oof. Some things are just impossible, kid. Why don't you just go back to wherever it is you came from? Have your mummy tell you bedtime stories. What a dick. Hey. What's wrong with you people? You've thrown your lives away. Don't you care about anything? Baze, let's go. We're wasting our time here. Thanks for telling me about the Dark Rift. Before I go, I just want to say I've never met a more pitiful bunch in my life. You lose sight of one dream, replace it with another. Think about how much you could have accomplished in that time you spent here. Just because you couldn't cross the Dark Rift, are you just going to sit here for the rest of your life? Because you tried something once and failed, are you going to throw the rest of your life away? Wise words, Vase. There's a whole world out there to see, and you don't have any desire to sail again. Fina, what is it? Faze, Ica, come to the port quickly. The Armada is coming. What? What are they doing here? Ica, let's move. We should hurry back to port. Oh dear. Maybe we should hurry back to port. Maybe we should. Um, but before we do that, I have a couple more things to find. We have another command. Where are you? So close. There we go. Aha! God damn it. I always push Y again to fire. Nice. Moonfish was caught. Alright, well, we'll have the moonfish. And I believe. Uh, there's another chest out here somewhere as well. Also, a man selling carpet by the look of things. Which, you know, fair enough. Ah, there we go. Sweet, and we have another moonberry. Because one can never have too many moonberries, apparently. Nice. Yeah, we need to talk some sense to these guys. This is pretty pathetic, if you ask me. 
Yeah, right, dude. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Would you like to see my wares? Sure. What have you got? So, Admiral Cutlass and a Wing of Hope. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's get the Admiral Cutlass the vase. Especially if we're about to go into combat. Take you. And we'll get the Wing of Hope for Ica, crafted in memory of those lost in the Dark Rift, and in hopes that others will fare better. An old sword that once belonged to a Valuant Admiral when he was stationed in Esperanza. Really? But you have more than one of them. Okay. We're not going to question it. Ica, there you go. Now, battle worn armor. Faze can have that. There we go. I have a miracle robe. Two cats. So, what's best here for Ica? That puts her magic up and her defense up by not a huge amount. 21. I th think we'll get the miracle robe for Fina. It doesn't put her defense up by much, but it buffs her magic. And that's the important thing for Fina, obviously. Um, I'll get the Decat's tunic for Ica. Sure. There we go. It's a slight improvement. It's not a huge improvement, but slight improvement is better than nothing. So. Improves dodge and defense. Enhancement that allows a fighter to detect targets at night. Okay. Puts their hit up by quite a lot. Magic do. Uh, temper. You know, we get a few more of these. That should be pretty good. Not often we're going to need those. Right, let's sell some stuff. Sell the iron cutter. Sell the throwing blade. Got two of those. Let's see how much they're worth. They're worth like nothing. Absolutely nothing at all. Uh, we'll get rid of those. Yeah, we'll get rid of these. They're literally worthless. And the maiden's armor. Sure. Brings us back up to a somewhat decent amount of gold. Don't really want those either. Uh, black eye patch. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. Anything else? White map. Got two of those. Scale of uh, Thoralak. An animal even deadlier than the uh, <laughs> Thor Thor Thorcrin? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Um, yeah, they're worth some good money actually. We get rid of those. Warrior's Heart. Shell of a Barocca. Even harder than that of the Marocca. Improves defense. Yeah, and it's also worth a good bit of gold. Anyway, we're going to leave that there. I've heard that there are very rare fish that live in around the Dark Rift. In fact, there are fish that haven't changed since the days from before the old world. I wonder what they look like. Hmm, is that so? Alright, my dude, thanks for the info. And thanks for the weapons. Right, let's get back. And we're going to save it. And sadly, that's going to be the last video. Uh, but then that does mean... What, what are we on? There should be enough videos now for the rest of the month. Okay, cool. Alright, well apparently there's no save place in there. There is one down here in the inn, which is the one that we're going to use. I might play some more of this tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> it's my last day of holiday tomorrow, technically. But Gabby's not working, so... Might not be able to record. Um... I really want to play more of this game. I've really, really, really enjoyed this. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.